Hi guys. Uh, shout out. Got a new Kramer special Beretta. Just ordered it. Got it yesterday. Um, Got to say, guitar is pretty badass. Wasn't sure. Cheap guitar, 179 bucks out the door. A uh, couple things had to do when it showed up. Um, put uh, some new tuners on. The tuners, they're okay, not great. I had these laying around. These are Wilkerson's. Um, was using them on another project. Thought, hey, let's try them on here. They look cool, being all black. Um, did a little sanding in the nut slots, uh, very little. Just took some 400 grit paper, just smoothed them out a little. Um, maybe widened them just a hair because the strings were sticking. Uh, put some nut sauce, not only in the nut, um, but also down in the saddles. Uh, when you dive the bar before, <coughs> strictly, you know, just right away out of tune. Uh, which to me is annoying. You might as well just take the whammy off and deck the tremolo. Um, after that, uh, I still have the cavities open. I'm not done working yet. Um, but on the volume pot, the volume, when you get it, is very unusable. It's pretty much off and wide open. Um, there's a little capacitor on the cap. You can't see it in here because I already took it out. Uh, it's just a two-leg capacitor. Um, just take yourself a set of snips, cut it, get rid of it. You're good to go. Uh, then your volume, you've got all the way from zero, and you can pull it all the way up. I'm gonna turn my amp up a little here, so you can go from quiet to all the way on. So you got at least a better swell on it. Uh, it's still, I mean, it's a cheap pot. Um, I've got a new one to put in somewhere in this mess. We've got. Brand new CTS push pull. This is going to go in. Um, this pickup here is not, you can't coil tap it. Um, it's just a straight leg. So I've got another uh, Wilkerson pickup uh, that I had once again for another project. Probably going to try it in this one as well. Um, it's a little bit smoother, uh, it's got a little bit more balance to it. Uh, this is not a bad pickup. Um, it does rock. It's 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 clear. Uh, it just doesn't quite do it for me. I ended up slamming this one real low, so you could get a better uh, better clarity out of it. It was it was too high, real hot. Uh, it just didn't sound as good. Um, other than that, also took off the one spring in the center. Had three on there. Pulled the claw out a little bit to make the bar. A little bit easier to dive. I still have some more work I need to do on that just to make it a little easier. But anyway, that's what I did. Um, killer guitar. You know, neck is good. No fret end dressing needed. Um, could polish the frets a little bit, but they're not bad. I mean, for 179 you know, pretty good deal. So, to your little tones. <laughs> DSL 40 uh, on the clean channel right now so even on clean I mean I've got the game way back and it still crunches up with this pick <laughs>
both in the nut and on the saddles where the strings break and uh, you know you're pretty good to go very easy very simple <clears throat> even with tuners with what I got in right now you're right at 200 bucks I mean where are you gonna find a guitar that screams 80s and 200 bucks so check it out um, thanks if you watched all right have a great day thanks guys <laughs>